Everybody wants to be free. Everybody wants liberty. We hear those words a lot. Freedom, liberty. People want to have rights. People want to be free. But what do those words mean exactly? Let's look at the dictionary. So what does it mean to be free? I mean, we all kind of know when we're free and we kind of know when we're not free. Do I really need to look it up in the dictionary? The answer is yes, you do. Because why? Because governments and politics gets messy and we need to be careful about meaning. So if I look in the dictionary under free, I see a couple things here. It's not bound by restrictions. What kind of restrictions? Governmental restrictions, okay? So not bound by governmental restrictions based on the consent of the people. All right, so if you have a government, it's only there as long as you give it permission to be there. That's free. Here's a different dictionary. Talks about not being in slavery. Well, that's pretty obvious. Uh, although flavor, slavery can take uh, subtle forms sometimes, paying a lot of taxes is essentially a form of slavery. Being independent is also listed here. A third dictionary has these examples here. And having no restrictions, not subject to government regulation. Those are all what it means to be free. And if you're free, you have freedom. So let's look at that word. Exempt from regulation, okay? Regulations don't apply to you if you have freedom. Here's a different dictionary. Independence, once again, that same word. And of course, we think of 1776, Declaration of, you know, and a third dictionary again, and this one talks about the absence of coercion. So freedom is when something is not in your life. And what's not in your life? Coercion or constraint. Okay, You're not being forced or made to do something against your will. Liberty. Now, that's pretty much a synonym for freedom, but it gets a more political flavor. Uh, liberty is when you are not dominated by other people. And it's when you're engaged in self-government, okay? Self-government on an individual level, we call it self-discipline, self-control, self-restraint. But on a group level, self-government is when you have freely elected representatives running the country. You picked who runs the country, and if you don't like them, you can elect a different group of guys. Another dictionary here. Notice the word from, free from government or rules, free from foreign rules, free from bondage, free from external control. You don't want anybody controlling you. Uh, final dictionary here writes the power to do as one pleases. Yeah, liberty and rights go together. So let's take a look at that word right in the dictionary. A claim. If you have a right to something, you have a claim to it. It's a legal claim. I have the right to freedom of speech. I have the right to freedom of assembly. I can hold a party and get together with my friends, and the government can't stop me. And if they try to stop me, I will claim my right to freedom of assembly. Here's a different dictionary. Legal guarantees. Okay, There's a legal guarantee that I have the right to print my opinion in the local newspaper, for example. Legal guarantee can be taken to court. And when I go to court, I can say I'm justly entitled to something. I am entitled to my freedom of speech, and I can claim it, claim as due that freedom, that right. Bottom line, freedom is the absence of coercion. That's a great definition. Remember it. Write it on your wall, write it on your mirror, put it on your bumper sticker, tattoo it on your, well, I'll let you pick which body part. So freedom is what we call a negative thing. It's not being constrained. It's not being coerced. It's not being forced. It's being free from regulation, free from control. Freedom works really well when people are polite about it. I've got the freedom to do all kinds of things, but sometimes I use self-control so that I don't insult or offend somebody else. And using self-control is way better 
than having somebody else control you. It's way better than having the government control you. So claim your rights, claim your freedom, claim your liberty, but once in a while, use some self-restraint, be polite, and that way the freedom lasts longer.